Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the feelings, energies between you and this other person that you're thinking about, connecting with, or could be connecting with in the near future. Ah, so let's jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Spirit angels, messages, guidance, please for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Messages for Gemini, please speak about in your relationships. For somebody thinking about connecting with at this time. Does Gemini need to know? Does Gemini need to know? Let's first ask what the energies are between you and this other person. Spirit, what are the energies between Gemini and this other person they're thinking about connecting with? Or will be connecting with the hermit virgo energy the hermit's very quiet withdrawn does a lot of thinking interesting the lovers is at the is at the bottom of the deck and this is your energy so it's almost like someone could be thinking about you maybe you're doing a lot of inner reflection thinking about another person or planning for your future. I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of like questions here. Like someone has questions. And it's like they're trying to figure out how they feel about another person or like if something's happening with a specific person. Because it's like someone's in the dark. What else? What are the energies between Gemini and this other person? What are there? Energies that change your mind and this other person. The Empress. Wow. Very powerful energy there with the Empress. The Empress is very special, has a lot of worth, a lot of value, can do so much, has achieved a lot, can continue to achieve more, can manifest, create. There's abundance. I feel like someone's thinking about you, Gemini, and I feel. It's like they're viewing you as this empress, or you can of course flip that, but that's the energy I'm getting. Someone who is trying to figure you out or trying to figure out how you feel or something that has to do with you. Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So I'm thinking of someone thinking about approaching you, making you an offer, proposing something to you. What else? What else do we need to know about the energies between Gemini and this other person? Three of Pentacles, working something out, working together, building something together. There you are again with the lovers at the bottom of the deck. This could be that somebody is thinking about how to work on something with you. Putting an effort into a connection with you. Especially when I see the Three of Pentacles and the Empress like side by side, I think of like someone that wants to work on building abundance, you know, wants to work on harvesting the fruits of their labor. So whatever we work on together, we're going to get something better in the end, some sort of result or success. Some of you, there, there could be someone else as well, someone um, like a third party. Uh, it could be another friend or partner or previous partner or family member. But I think the energies here are, are, I feel like you're both thinking about each other. Let's get some energy oracles out. All right, spirit. It's much of the similar photos from the first deck. It's just a few differences. What's the overall energy here between Gemini and this other person? Reaching out, contact, exchange, phone call, take the initiative to reach out. So someone's thinking about reaching out here, communicating, being the first one that takes kind of like the initiative to contact the other person. What's this? Past life, memories, past life, nostalgia. You have had a connection with this person in the past. So this could be somebody that you have a history with, Gemini. Can we get one more? 
feel like someone from the past could be wanting to reach out here, communicate. What's the energy here between Gemini and this other person? Falling leaves, changes transition time. Time changes everything. I feel like maybe someone has gone through some changes because time has passed here. And bottom of the deck is closed off. Being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. So what I'm seeing here is I feel like you and this person, there might have been a separation here where you weren't communicating. You weren't talking to each other. Maybe some time passed. And I feel like you still think about the other person. And maybe as time has passed, you've had some sort of realizations about this connection. You or this other person are having those realizations. Can I get one more for this Three of Pentacles? Spare, why is the Three of Pentacles here? For Gemini. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. This could be somebody that's apologizing, wanting to work things out, Gemini. Something must have happened in the past between you and this person that made one of you closed off. Maybe there's been some sort of distance between you and this other person. Let me move these over so I can have some more room here. So let's get some of your energies out here because I'm going to be asking for your specific energy and for this other person's energy. Um, of course, you can feel free to flip the energies that they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me about Gemini's energies when it comes to this person or this connection. What are Gemini's energies when it comes to this person or this connection? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I get the sense that you're still interested. That's what I'm getting here, interest. There's an interest here, um, almost like a desire to know more. To take, I almost feel like some of you have even wondered if you should be the one to reach out first, to take that first step. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, but I, I feel like there's an interest there that you have towards this person. What is Gemini's energy when it comes to this person, this connection spirit? What do we need to know for Gemini? Ten of Wands and the Hangman. Interesting. So Gemini, I feel like some of you have held back even when you don't want to. It's I, I, I'm almost getting the sense of like someone that they're doing a lot of thinking, but they can't do anything about what they're thinking about. Does that make sense? And I get the sense that some of you are even like wondering, like I said, should I be the one that reaches out? Should I be the one that makes the first move? But I feel like you, in your mind, talk yourself out of that or talk yourself back. You know, it's like, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I, th I don't think that's something that I should do. And I almost feel like there's, this is like against your will. Um, so for some of you, this could be that you are at the mercy of this person. Um, how do I say this? It, it's, it's not up to you, the end result. So for example, maybe you're wondering that your person, you know, even though you want to take action towards your person, you know, they're burdened, you know, they're stuck in a situation that you can't get involved in, right? That's one scenario. Maybe too much time has passed. There's a lot of baggage between you and this person and you haven't really discussed it. So it would not be right for you to be the first one to make the move because of the way things ended or because there is no communication or something like that. It's, it's almost like this is not something that you like being in this position. Let's get some ever afters here. Can I get some insight into Gemini's energy? Can I get some insight, Spirit, into Gemini's energy, please? Once upon a time, beginnings, journey, first step. You're thinking about a new beginning with this person. Can we start over? Do we have a future?
Bottom of the deck is sad goodbye, distance endings, separation. So you and this person are not together. Maybe you had a sad goodbye in your past, some sort of distance. I did pick that up though, because we have closed off here. So I think if it were up to you, you would make the first step, you would have a new beginning. But that, that separation, that goodbye is kind of what keeps you from doing that. From reaching out, maybe you don't even have this person's number anymore, or you haven't talked in a really long time. Maybe you're both involved with other people or with your own responsibilities and obligations, and it wouldn't really be correct to like reach out. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. Tell me more about Gemini's energy. What do we need to know? about Gemini's energy. I don't have the courage to face you. So Gemini, you don't have the courage to reach out. I feel like you're, you're being held back. Fear could be holding you back, but I don't think it's just fear for some of you. I think there's something else. Bottom of the deck, we have reunited at last. I feel like that that's what you would want. <laughs> Excuse me, to reunite with this person. this here so let's look at this person spirit tell me about this other person this person that gemini is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about their energies towards gemini what do we need to know about their energies towards gemini seven of cups so there's that kind of like figuring out energy a bit confused maybe a bit overwhelmed by options or decisions I'm getting uncertainty from this card. They're not sure about something when it comes to you. Yeah, there's the Seven of Wands. I think in their mind, you would reject them or block them or you would not be interested. Maybe they feel like there would be some sort of resistance on your part if they were to come forward. Yeah, and so they're just doubting themselves. They're unsure, uncertain. Two of Pentacles. What do I do? And in the meantime, they're waiting. They're waiting to... So I feel like you're both in the same boat. <laughs> you're marrying each other here is what I'm getting. You both want to reach out. You both want to bridge this gap. But you're both scared to do it. Tell me more about this person's energy. This person that Gemini is, has, or will be connecting with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about their energy spirit? Storybook romance, romance, chemistry, mutual feelings. I mean, you're both thinking about it. I think this was a very special connection to the both of you. But it did end. I feel like I am speaking to a Gemini where there has been a separation of some sort. Bottom of the deck is found slipper, opportunity, lucky break, serendipity. So it's almost like they're hoping for the right opportunity to come around this person tell me more about this person what do we need to know about this other person this person that Gemini is has or will be dealing with what are their energies towards Gemini past connection so we have the past life past connection energy again I feel this is definitely someone from the past can I get one more? One more for this person, please. What are their energies towards Gemini? Even though we are apart, our souls are united. So you're both thinking the same thing. You're both thinking the same thing. You're thinking about the separation. You're thinking about the fact you're not together. And you're both thinking about reaching out. But neither of you is willing to make the first move. That's what I think is happening here. And I feel like it's a very complex situation. I don't think it's so simple as saying, just reach out, just talk to them. I don't think it's that simple. And the tarot obviously is not gonna be able to get tell me all the scenarios that that could, the reasons why that is, right? But I feel like there was definitely a reason for the separation. And that reason I feel is still relevant to some extent, or it's not so easy to overcome. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated for you. 
Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.